Hi, in this video we're going to show you another way to reset your forgotten Windows password in case you can't get into your computer. Oh, we've done a couple other videos on a couple other products that work uh, very well. Um, if you want to check those out, but we figured might as well do this one too because it seems to do a good job and it's only 20 bucks for the uh, basic version, which is all you need to reset your password. It's called iSunshare Windows Password Genius. So you could download the trial just to make sure it's going to work before you buy it. So that's what we're going to do in this video rather than buy another one we don't need. So we're going to click on download. Okay, so now we're going to install it. Pretty much just on a next next type of thing, I agree. Install if you want to keep the default directory. And then you could just run it right away if you like. Okay, so once you run it, you have two choices. You could do USB device or bootable CD DVD. Uh, before in the other programs, I believe we did the CD, DVD, ISO version. So this time we're going to do a USB device. So make sure you have it plugged in and make sure you have uh, nothing on it you want to keep. So it's going to give you a listing of your USB drives. We only have one. So we're going to click on Begin Burning. And it tells you all data will be lost. So click on Yes if you agree. And this process is pretty quick, so that's already done. Okay, so now we just need to uh, restart the computer and go into the BIOS and make sure it's set to boot from a uh, USB flash drive. So we'll be right back. Okay, so when you're in the BIOS, yours may look different than this one. I'm doing this on a virtual machine, so yours may look completely different. But either way, you, know, you should go into the setup and try and find the boot options here. Change your boot order. And then you would restart the computer again. Okay, so now we have this Windows 10 looking boot up screen, even though this is a Windows 11 computer. So it's using Windows 10 for its back end software there. Okay, so select the Windows. So even though I said this was uh, Windows 11, it was a used to be Windows 10, but it was upgraded to Windows 11, so that's why it still says Windows 10 there. So we have the user accounts we found on the computer here. So the only one we have that was added as a regular user was this Todd S. And if you click on Reset Password, it tells you the trial does not support support password resetting and just create a user for testing so obviously it's not going to actually do it unless you pay the twenty dollars for it and then there's the add user option if you want to do it using a trial version which only add a test user it will expire immediately after being created so we could go ahead and do it anyways let's say Joe the password okay and if we reboot Okay, so now you can see we have this test user here, but it will be expired, so we can't actually use it here. Let's find out for sure here. Okay, we'll just run through these settings real quick and see if this account really works. Okay, so it looks like it worked, even though it said it was expired. So let's log off. See what happens when we sign back in. Okay, still works, so let's... See what kind of account this guy is too here. Oh, definitely not an administrator. All right, so 
Looks like the account worked, so I don't know why it said it was going to be expired, but uh, I'm in there. So anyways, okay, so once you download the software and then you uh, make your flash drive, set your BIOS or UEFI so it'll boot to your flash drive, and just kind of run through and you could either change the password or you could obviously create a new user without um, having to change the password or buy the software, but it's going to be a standard user, so you're not going to be able to go in and reset the password of your most likely administrator enabled account. So keep that in mind. So for 20 bucks, you know, hard to beat rather than, you know, formatting your computer or trying some other way to get your uh, password back. Okay, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.